Hello, my name is Brian Kelly and I'm based at UConn at the University of Bath. On Monday the 11th of July 2011, I'll be facilitating a workshop on metrics and social web services, quantitative evidence for their use and impact. Although the event is fully subscribed, we intend to amplify the event by web streaming the talk, encouraging discussions using the hash UCOM EIM Twitter hashtag, and providing access to the speaker's slides on the UCOM EIM events group on SlideShare. In addition, this welcome talk is being pre-recorded in order to provide the context for the day. I should add that the slides are available under a Creative Commons license, and although this may not apply to although this may not apply to embedded images. In addition, a Creative Commons license is granted to the presentation of this talk as well as the resources themselves. The one day workshop is the final event of the year for work on evidence impact metrics, which has been carried out by UConn in order to explore ways of gathering evidence which can demonstrate the impact of services and devise appropriate metrics to support such work. A final report will be published shortly which will include content which has previously been provided on the UK Web Focus blog. So by the end of the workshop participants should have a better appreciation of the importance of the need to gather and interpret evidence understand how metrics can be used to demonstrate the value and ROI of services, have seen examples of how institutions are gathering and using such evidence, be aware of the limitations of such uh, evidence gathering approaches and have discussed ways in which should, such approaches can be used across the sector. There is a clear political and economic context to this work. A year ago the government announced that a clampdown on government websites would save millions. But notice that this was a very one-dimensional view, with no discussion of the millions of pounds which websites could potentially save in comparison with, for example, the costs of using print and TV media. However, this announcement sent a clear signal of the need for higher education to be prepared to respond to similar government initiatives aimed at the higher education sector. And this has happened. The government white paper on higher education was published on the 28th of June and as was trailed in advance, this requires universities to publish data about their services and the students' experiences. It should be noted, however, that the moves towards greater transparency and openness in the public sector have been initiated by the Labour government. So it may be argued that this white paper provides an opportunity for the sector to demonstrate the value of the services it provides and we should welcome the opportunity to take a lead in publishing data openly, with the white paper providing a tool for overcoming institutional inertia. We should also remember that although quality matters, numbers matter too, as can be seen from the recent announcement at the Apple Developers Conference with the BBC News item picking up on the numbers mentioned in Steve Jobs' talk. And the recent just funded report published by the Oxford Internet Institute made a similar point that if we wish to engage with the media and the general public, we'll need to gather and use numbers and metrics. But although the sector is aware, of, is aware of the benefits of sharing experiences, there are dangers in, in failing to engage because of concerns that we might be doing badly, not doing as well as our main rivals, or, ironically, not wanting to be boastful. Another tendency in higher education is wanting a perfect solution rather than what, one that is good enough. Or perhaps we want to learn from others but we want to keep our strategies for success to ourselves. In today's workshop, we will explore a variety of issues related to approaches for gathering and using metrics related to use of social media services, 
both for institutional and personal usage. Amber Thomas from the JISC will explain why the terms used by marketing people should no longer be considered to be dirty words by developers and others. I will summarise a number of surveys which I've carried out of use of social media by various institutions and individuals. Ranjit Sidhu of Statistics into Decisions will describe work he has been involved in in providing institutional dashboards and how this can relate can be used to relate usage to value and ROI. Andrew Law of the Open University will describe approaches which have been taken at the Open University and finally Tony Hurst also of the Open University will give a developer's perspective on gathering use and possibly misuse of metrics. In addition there will be two breakout sessions during which the participants will explore the issues which have been raised in more depth and provide suggestions on how we might build on this work in the future. I should conclude by saying that the resources used in the workshop and the notes from the workshop itself will be made available shortly. Please see the UK Web Focus blog for more information. Thank you.